Investigation in Uvalde, the school district police chief defending himself in a newspaper interview. Yeah, saying he didn't see himself as the on-scene commander, but his words now raising more questions about the police response. Norea Villarreal reports. Tonight, embattled school district police chief Pete Arredondo defending his actions during the massacre at Robb Elementary that left 21 people dead. Guy with a rifle. The chief telling the Texas Tribune, despite what state officials say, he did not see himself as the incident commander on site and assumed another official had taken control, claiming I didn't issue any orders. But he does acknowledge using his cell phone to call for tactical gear, a sniper and keys to get inside the locked classroom, saying he told officers to break windows to evacuate students. Oh, the kids, they're getting the kids out. After officers were grazed with bullets, Chief Arredondo and others retreated into the hallway for more than an hour, while officials say gunfire could be heard four more times. Teacher Arnolfo Reyes, who was laying on the floor, shot multiple times, telling ABC News the gunman started shooting again right after a child called out for help. One of the students from the next door classroom um, was saying, officer, we're in here, we're in here. And then, uh, but they had already left. And then um, he got up from, from my, behind my desk and he walked over there and he shot over there again. As for those 911 calls from the classroom. Arredondo telling the Tribune he was not aware of them because he left his radio behind, believing it would slow him down. But students like Mia Cedillo were still alive and begging for help. What did you tell 911? I told her that we need help and to send the police in, the, in our classroom. And Arredondo seemed aware that police needed to move faster. An official telling ABC News he was overheard that day saying, people are going to ask why we're taking so long. There is no excuse for their actions, and I will never forget them. The New York Times also reported teacher Eva Mireles called her husband a police officer who was outside the school, telling him she was dying. That information reaching other officers 15 minutes into the rampage. Eva died on the way to the hospital, and today was laid to rest.